Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so, but quick note about my readings. They are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So if you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Sagittarius, this is for you. And remember, watch all three of them because it's going to give you a more complete picture of how these speak to you and obviously which part of you I resonate with as a tarot reader. So before we start, as always, <coughs> I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Sorry, impromptu giggle popped out there. So your key to the week this week is the Empress card, right? And this is all about growth, expansion, abundance, and beauty. This tells me actually that over the course of this week, some of your ideas may start to sprout, or you may have, maybe you'll get a, an insight on a very, a, an insight into a very practical step that you can take to make something real, to make something tangible. So it's kind of like this week, you know, like when you plant the seed and you see it kind of just sprout, it breaks the surface and it's like, okay, cool. Now it's working. This week you could have a moment like that, or you could have a conversation with a woman in your life, maybe an important woman in your life that really helps you understand, right, okay, these are the steps that I can put in place in order to make this real. And there is something that you're looking to, you know, to bring into actuality or to make something tangible. For your actions and options this week, you've got the tower card, right? So you could be going off script this week and it does feel like that might be the case. It's almost like you're saying, right, okay, was going this way, now going that way. And <clears throat> it's not about explaining yourself to anybody. I think this is one of those things and probably going to be one of those weeks where you kind of say, okay, well, we were heading in this direction and that was cool, but it doesn't quite work. There's like a spontaneous idea, maybe that comes off the back of a conversation, maybe one that comes in this week and it will see you kind of going off script. It's like whatever the plan was, the plan is now subject to change and you are really ready to go in this new direction. Maybe you're speeding something up. Maybe you are beefing up a plan. Maybe you're starting with something in the middle rather than, you know, at the beginning. In. Um, there's just a, a feeling here that you're switching something up and it's going to be you know possibly very surprising to everybody around you for your communications and conversations you have the nine of wands all right so this week when it comes to the communications and conversations you might find that it's not so much that your ideas are falling on deaf ears it's more a case of it's almost like you, you have this kind of feeling of, you know what, you, it's almost like you, you never listen to me, whether this is the boss, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, it's like, because you're going off script or maybe you're changing whatever the plan is, it's almost like it's kind of just meeting a, a brick wall and it's like, okay, fine, maybe I am changing things. Maybe I do change things quite often. Maybe I change tack or direction quite often, but that doesn't mean that the direction that I'm choosing to go in isn't the right one for me now. Um, so this week, if you find yourself somewhat at odds with somebody who maybe doesn't get you know, the, the plan that you're changing or the reason that you're changing the plan, um, that's not necessarily your stuff to deal with, it's theirs. All you can do is explain, look, you know what? This is the direction that I'm choosing to go in now. You can either be on board or not be on board. It's completely up to you. For your um, nine of wands, nine of wands. For your, those of you that are working for somebody else, sorry, <laughs> blank moment. Uh, I've been having a lot of those recently. Um, for, yeah, for those of you that work for somebody else, this could be you maybe feeling actually, you know what, I don't feel like I'm appreciated, I don't feel like I'm heard, I certainly don't feel like my ideas, uh, no matter how progressive they might be, I uh, certainly don't feel like my ideas are, you know, given any sort of serious thought or credence. And, you know, one of the things is this week, 
Now, I wouldn't usually say this, but obviously never put your job at risk. But one thing that it kind of feels like this week, you are going to override what you're supposed to do in favour of what you see is a better way or more efficient way to do something. And by going off script or off piste, you know, people are going to be a bit like, oh, you know, like, oh, um, but it kind of feels to me like the result will be worth it when people see like, oh, OK, actually, yeah, that does work better. You know, it will alleviate the crap. You know, sometimes it's better to ask for, uh, what's the word they say? Sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. This might be one of those weeks. For those of you that work for yourselves, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, business owners, um, yours may not be the popular opinion this week, right? So where you're taking something where you envision your business going, what you would like to welcome into it, you know, whether this is your employees, whether it's your peers, whether it's your colleagues, they might not necessarily understand the direction or the vision that you have. Um, if you have the guts and the gumption, then you're just going to have to go for it and hope that they eventually see the vision that you saw in your mind when it all comes to fruition. Um, but there is a sense here that you might be making yourself vulnerable uh, and you might have to do that in order to get people on board. Um, I just get this sense this week that there is, you know, it's almost like nobody, it's not that nobody's listening to you, it's just it might be tough to get them to listen to you. For those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, you're, um, this could be a week where you really decide to work on on the physical aspects of either your home or your physical body so this looks like you you know maybe you're doing the exercises that a physiotherapist has given you maybe you are finally saying right okay you know what i'm gonna sort my flexibility out i'm gonna get my uh, you know my back or the muscles in my arms stronger like it's almost like you're working on the physical self because there's some and it's not from an aesthetic point of view this is literally from like a health point of view but it's something that you've said for a long time like yeah yeah I'll get around to that I'll get around to that and you haven't and it kind of looks like this week you'll be like yeah I should have begun this journey a while back let me do it now for your home and environment you have the high priestess and this comes up with the tower card now I'm going to go straight to the home and environment before I get to the money because it comes up with the tower card and humor me here um if you have noticed you know weird knocking sounds you know things being moved out of place and i mean that's all par for the course with me anybody that's ever lived with me knows that strange occurrences seem to happen in the place that i live i'll tell you this i will create a video talking about all of this stuff one day uh, and i've said this for ages but it's going to be called rings tings and pings uh, you know when you hear the ping or the ping or the you know, it's something that's followed me my entire life and that's for a whole other video but um this week don't be surprised if you have some sort of visitation uh you know maybe you wake up and there's somebody stood at the foot of your bed you turn the light on they're gone um you know don't be surprised if you know you're the only person in the house you make yourself a cuppa you put it down you forget about it you come back and it's moved this could be a week where some really odd phenomena is happening around the home. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I don't know if there is anything in the planets that would signify that, but it's definitely coming up through the cards. So just be aware of that. Now, the other way that this could play out as well is literally a spontaneous psychic episode that uh, either gives you an amazing idea or a really powerful insight into something or how to change something is definitely possible. Um, and for a select few of you this week, you may very well be having a premonition. <sighs> anyway, big stuff. So when it comes to your money and materials, your finances, this week you could be acting on a gut hunch and it doesn't make sense to anybody else and it probably won't until it pays off. This is why I say to you, you know, across the board, especially when it comes to your money and especially those of you that are partnered or married, you might want or need to do something this week based on an intuitive urge and it's not going to be understood. It won't be because it's, you know, when we have our intuition, 
this is one of the reasons, you, you know, uh, when we watch different readers and astrologers and psychics and stuff, we resonate because some people are able to articulate what they envision, intuit or see, um, you know, better than others. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're a better reader. They're just very good at articulating what it is that they're seeing and, and you know, how that fits. Um, this week, that's going to be one of the things maybe that you butt heads over. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, yeah, especially because it's the high priestess, uh, how to say this without really freaking you out. I hope that you know me by now. You guys are fine. Uh, this would not be a good week to spend time next to large bodies of water. Um, and if you are, please don't go alone, all right? Uh, I don't see anything detrimental happening per se, but it would just be a good week to look out for yourself in that regard. Uh, and then for your um, heart and hearth, love and relations, you have the King of Cups. So this coupled with, or very close in proximity to the High Priestess, a Cancerian male may very, fe very well feature for you in some way, shape or form. For some of you, this could be a family member, for some, this could literally be like a potential partner. Um, what it does tell me though, because you've got the Nine of Wands and the Empress card, this may be somebody in the family or as an extended member of the family that might need your assistance or your help in some regard. For those of you that are single, if you're meeting somebody, this could be somebody in the healing professions, uh, definitely possible with the Nine of Wands there. Um, this could be somebody that works with or alongside, you know, uh, people in recovery, you know, a therapist, a counsellor, a doctor even, um, more closer to the doctor sort of vibe. Uh, and then for those of you that are partnered or in relationships, you need to school your emotional responses to things this week, right? This is about you holding on to your emotions while you have certain conversations. It does look to be a very interesting week for Sagittarius, I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry to say, because you've got some really cool stuff here. I mean, if you're anything like me, this is actually quite cool. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe some of you out there are like, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for all of that, Raph. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, with that said, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.